Thank you for watching this tutorial. This is about our SAML plugin for Jira with Google's G Suite. We'll cover the setup of the plugin uh, to authenticate against G Suite as well as uh, just-in-time provisioning of users and the transformation of user IDs in this demo. All right, let's jump into Jira. Please select add-ons and then SAML single sign-on. So we assume you have already installed the plugin like you do with any other plugin. Uh, you see the wizard window, so please add new IDP. Select the IDP type to be um, Google G Suite and just give it a description. For example, resolution G Suite, I'll do here. Next. And now copy the um, entity ID. It's, a, it's the same URL for both. Um, uh, just copy it because we need it on G Suite in a second. So um, now I'm going to open um, a new browser um, to log into uh, Google. Go to admin here. Right, so I'm in the admin interface now. I select apps and then SAML apps. And then we want to add one. So click the plus sign. Set up my own custom app. And now download the option to IDP metadata. That will download an XML file which we'll need later. Go to next. Now we need to give it a name. Just do Jira SD01 for, for me here. Give it a description. And then click on next. Now we paste the URL we copied before from our plugin. The same for entity ID, same URL. Check uh, signed response and uh, now we need to select what our username is um, and we'll select that to be the primary email. Go to next. Now we need to create an uh, new mapping. So if you only want to authenticate against um, G Suite, you would be finished now essentially. But since we also want to um, provision users, we need to set up this additional mapping. So we create one to map the first name um, and an attribute to map the last name for and another one to map um, the email against. So basic information, primary email, and we'll call that email. Go to finish. And we're essentially complete with the setup of um, the Google custom app. So just click OK. Now we just need to turn this on for all users. Um, you can also um, limit it to certain groups only. So click on those three dots and select on for everyone. Turn on for everyone. And that's it. So now every user in your G Suite account can um, actually use this SAML integration. Let's go back to our plugin. Click Next. So now we need to load the file that we downloaded from uh, Google before, which is the XML file of the metadata. You just open and then click Import. So you see, metadata import successful. Go to Next. In SAML, the name ID attribute actually contains the username. And if you remember in Google, we selected the name ID to match the primary email address. So most of the time in reality, we, um, however, the Jira username isn't, um, or we don't want it to be a full email address. Uh, we very often only want it, for example, to be the part before the email address. Um, and this is really um, what user ID attribute transformation is for. Uh, to be able to transform what the IDP, i.e. Google, sends us uh, via a regular expression into, um, into the username we want to use. So if you go down to user ID transformation, and let's just copy the example here, which essentially just removes everything behind the ad. Um, so I'm just going to uh, mark the example and uh, paste it into the um, fields above.
and thereafter I can actually test it with a test input. So if I just enter jb at test.com, you'll actually see it will translate that into the username um, jb. Right, let's go on to next step. Here we are with user creation and update. Um, if we don't want to create users, then we don't have to do anything here. But in the example, we actually want to uh, just in time provision users when they log in. So I check that. I leave it on the Jira internal directory. And now we need to um, map some central attribute that Jira needs to know um, when actually um, using creating a user. So the full name attribute, so it's the full name that Jira wants, um, and we actually need to combine that out to two, uh, out from two attributes um, that we had on Google. If you remember, we defined the first name to be in the attribute first, and the last name to be in the attribute last. And whenever we combine two attributes, we need to put them into our curly brackets. So that's what I'm going to do here: curly bracket first, space curly bracket last. So this combines the first and the last name being sent from Google into um, what Jira recognizes as the full name. Um, for the email attribute, we um, map the primary email to the attribute email. Um, that's just one, so I don't need the curly brackets. Also, when I set up the user, um, I can assign that user to groups. Um, one way is to have the group membership being sent from um, the IDP. Or another way, and that's what we um, choose here in the example, is just to uh, configure our plugin to assign a certain group to all the users it creates. So it can also be a number of groups. So select the um, Jira Service Desk users. Uh, so every user created um, would end up in the Jira Service Desk users group. Click Save and Next. We are pretty much finished with our plugin configuration now, so it's a good time uh, to test how far we got. So if you click on Start Test, it will generate what we call an authentication tracker. If you now cut and paste the URL you see here, and then open a new browser window, it initiates a authentication. So I'll just drag the new uh, Firefox, Firefox window in there. Give me a sec. Yes, and now I'll paste the URL. And you see I get uh, I go to Jira and I get redirected to Google straight away uh, with my username. If I now go back um, to the other window, um, you actually see the live results in the authentication tracker. So I'm in the middle of the authentication, the status is in progress, and I see what has happened so far in terms of messages, summer responses, and some detailed data which is very important for us if you open a um, support case, but it might also be quite helpful for you um, to see what's going on. So if I go back to the uh, Firefox window now and enter my password, you see it locked me straight into um, Jira and it's the first time user visit. So I click through that. Um, so it has created my user and I'm logged in. If I just go to um, to the profile here for a second, let me just click profile. Um, you can actually see um, the user that I'm at. My username is JB, full name Jörg Brandstedt, as we created um, the email address uh, exactly as configured in Google. Now back to the uh, authentication tracker, you see success, you see the user ID locked in. So you can really see what has been happening. It's been creating um, my user and also adding me to the um, Jira Service Desk Users group. Go to Next. Right, the last thing left is just to enable um, single sign-on redirect. So far everything you've done was non-disruptive uh, to users. So they didn't see what you're doing. You logged in via special URL to test. However, if you um, check the box Enable SSO Redirect, it means every user will get redirected um, to Google for their login. So you can either do that now uh, and then it's activated, or you might want to um, um, click Save and Close and then schedule that in the maintenance window just by going into the IDP configuration later on. So um, to complete our um, tutorial here, um, just click on Enable SSO Redirect. And then we also want to override the locked out URL method so that uh, users who've been signed in via SSO 
are actually getting to a custom, custom logout page um, where they can uh, need to click to log in again as opposed to be just redirected um, uh, to the IDP again. So click Save and Close and you're done with your configuration. I'm just going to quickly show you the logged out URL. So if I click log out, you actually see I get redirected to a custom page here um, that you can modify in the um, plugin configuration. Congratulations, you're done. And thanks for your time and your interest in our plugin. In these tutorials, we can always only show the most common setups. So that might not totally fit your case. And our plugin has lots of options um, to make it work for you. I can really only suggest book one of the free setup sessions and you find the link below in the um, video descriptions. Book one of those free setup sessions um, as a screen share and we can answer a lot of questions but we can also guide you through the setup of the plugin so that it really fits your needs. It's a great way to get started and get you up and running very very quickly and uh, without a lot of hassle. Alternatively feel free to visit our documentation um, or if you uh, don't like a screen share, um, there's also another way uh, via our support portal to get in touch with our support team. The guys really love to help you and uh, get you up and running. Thanks again. Have a great day.